Rebound to the Trojans. Each team has had it once, hasn't done it at the scoreboard. Now Daniel, the pull-up jumper, same spot, but she gets down low by Sticks Hollings. Hazel, 18 to shoot for McDaniel. Working the low block, shot blocked by Hollings. Three on the way, short. Rebound comes off of JMU to Wagner. Wagner scoops it down low. That's a wraparound pass. Daniel, the beneficiary. Seven point lead for James Madison, who's tied for first in the league with Marshall. Both of them at 4 and 0 oh in Sunbelt play. Inside Hallman, top shot. Shot shooting 57% for a club that is second in the league in field goal shooting. Nice crossover move. Again, Hazel tries her luck. Long rebound comes off of Kozlova. Into the game, Leilani Guyon mishandles it for a moment, but still is able to finish. Can't get the shot in tight. Here comes Maymay Hallman. Stops at quarter court, just inside the arc. Got it, that's a two. And Alicia Goodman, and here come the Dukes. You see why the Dukes are so dominant rebounding. They do a great job boxing out. They've got size, but they're really fundamentally well schooled on boxing out. Barnes gets the, uh, helping that James Madison program uh, take another step. They are yep. exceptionally, uh, an exceptionally good team. Here's Hallman back in the game, and a good start to the second quarter for Maine. Yeah, down, yeah just to, uh, they want a good shot here. They've uh, been a little frenetic, and because they've uh, taken a couple of off-balance shots, Andrew Rigby wants a good shot here. Hallman with a foot on the line, hits. The post defender and Kozlova cashes in. Yeah, unless you get some help side defense, once she catches it there, you're in trouble. With a capital T. Guy on with a foot on the Good defense there from Wagner, just forced her to the baseline and ultimately she took a bad shot. Wagner gets it to Guy on. Here's a bona fide triple and she. Can the Dukes get a quick bucket? That's twice they've just thrown over the post defender, this time in transition. Now here's a jumper. That's good for Mia Daniel. That's a too close. Can't get it over the rim. Wagner. Guyon shows the ball, gets by Barnes, a little push from the free throw line. Guyon's the one. Rebound to Gabby Cartagena in the game for Troy. Now here's Holman. Yes. Well, that's her game. She can get the shot up off the dribble as quick as anybody. She's got 10. She's only 5'3, so she has to elevate quickly, and she can do it. Guyon's been a boon for this Troy team offensively. They will burst it to Holman. Dukes goes on now, trying to force Troy to the perimeter. Trying to shoot over the zone. Dyer! That's a three-pointer for Zay Dyer. They give it to her. The lead. Drive there. She gets into double figures. She's got 11. Hallman with an answer. Yes. May May Hallman can stroke it. She had 33 earlier uh, against JMU. Cause hit the leaner, and Hollings is able to rebound. Takes it up court herself all the way. Yes. And one. Wow. Augman and Hollings. This is, a, this is a James Madison club that hasn't trailed a lot this year. Inside Dyer, yes. Good one from Augman on the outside. Dyer is in double figures. Augman controls in the rings, crosses over Bristow, free throw line, jumper banks it in. We saw one of those on Wednesday from her. Each team has led by 11. Here's a triple guy on. No, that's Hogman. Holy smokes. She had only hit two threes on the entire season, and she nailed the big one there. Keeps it with Holman with a minute 29. Holman just inside the arc. Answers. She is feeling it right now. She had 33 against the Dukes in Harrisonburg last year. She's at 20 right now. Holding it there is Wagner through a double team. Daniel, a contested jumper. Oh, that's top. She's in double figures. Between the range to Holman. Had such a terrific third quarter. Crosses over against Hazel. Oh, wow. <laughs> How do you get that to go? Kozlova has her second. Nine point game. Holman in the key. And she gets it again. Well, she's that carrying was, this club right now. How as a defender do you back off her? That's a mistake by James Madison there to just take a step back and let her have that wide. Looking for Holman. 
Check by Sterling. Pass inside. Tough catch by Dyer. Spins off the baseline. Got it. Nice reverse move there. Spun away from the baseline. And got the shot up and in. Sterling has it stolen. Hollings was anticipating it. Calling for it is Hallman. Waiting for contact. Doesn't get the call, but she gets the bucket. That's a critical miss kill for the Dukes. Great hustle defense. Shot clock, which is not in their nature, but uh, here I think that would be uh, wise of them to maximize every possession, finish it with a shot. Seven to shoot for Guyon. She'll do it. 16-footer, and she got it off the back iron, and it falls. She's in double figures. Fresh legs out there for this press. Allman into four court down the sidelines. Dyer, JMU really uh, overplaying, but inside is Hollings. Well, that's a good look from Dyer and a nice attack from Hollings. They had overplayed on the basketball that's quicker than everybody else. That runs everybody. Dyer will take a mid-range jumper, front lip, no rebound, and Hollings. And Troy is rolling now. Yeah, Troy's not going to take their foot off the pedal. Forget the clock. They're there. As it went head to head, they may see each other a little later on. Trojans winning streak will go to four games in a row. JMU drops a Sunbelt Conference game for the first time this year. Troy goes to seven and eight. Four and one in Sunbelt play. James Madison drops to 12 and five, and they are now 